Hi everyone. Hi, Shira Lazar. Nice to meet you. From YMCA. So, tell me about this program that's going on for the prom. So, this is Project Prom. Uh, all these students have applied to be part of a program. They have to do eight hours, and of course, most of them did more than eight hours of community service to become part of the program. Once they get accepted into it, uh, they get a full makeover from head to toe. Uh, beautiful designer dresses, the shoes, the accessories, everything. That's a pretty good deal. Good. How did this all come to be? So it started three years ago. Uh, a shoe designer that partnered with us, Dewey Farina. Uh, the beautiful designers there um, had extra shoes, and they said that they knew that teens in the city needed shoes for mm -hmm. prom and not spending all that extra cash because they have to get into college and spend their money yeah. on other things. Um, and so they approached some of their friends in the other design businesses and got dresses and stuff and did it kind of small, and then they wanted to go bigger, so they called, contacted the Y. Uh, and we have blown it out of the park. So this year we have over 75 kids that are being made over all day today. So and, and I love the twist in this is that they actually do need to do volunteer service. It's such that's such a nice thing to include that. Exactly, and I mean just getting them to understand <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> getting them to understand that they're getting something and that they have to give back in the same way. And that's what it's all about. You give and you shall receive. So let's uh, talk to some of you. Um, and what made you want to apply? Maybe do you want to come here and move in? And we're gonna see the, the beautiful dresses. You need to show those off right now. <laughs> Uh, how did you find out about this program? I'm already in the YMCA, so because I was a senior, they passed out the fly to all the seniors. So my job in Project Prom was to help all the seniors in my Y apply and inside of my school, the High School of Fashion Industry. So that's what I did. And my community service was recruiting people and the age walk and stuff. So now Why is this such an important thing to be part of? What do you tell people when uh, you tell them about the program and why they should be involved? I would tell them because you, you're always giving back through the YMCA, you're always having to give back to the community, you're always giving back to the community, and it's rewarding sometimes to be rewarded for what you're actually doing, and prom is, everyone knows prom season is crazy as a senior, everyone has to buy their dresses, you got to get your shoes, you're trying to play for college and stuff, so through the YMCA to be able to get free prom dresses that are brand new and fit you like a glove is amazing. Yeah, and you definitely have the red carpet. Look, what are you wearing? Let's ask everyone what they're wearing. We'll pretend we're having the red carpet okay. here on the plaza. Okay. We're gonna make this a red here. carpet. I'm gonna have so, you stand here. So let's go through. Let's go through all these outfits. If anyone is watching, maybe they want to get them themselves. Do you know what you're wearing? Yeah. All right. So you want to come? So you stand here, and then um, after each model passes by, they'll pass. All right. Perfect. So let's let's do the walk. And and what are you wearing? I have a Romeo and Juliet couture dress and Danny, Danny black shoes. Holla to that. That's nice. To them. That's beautiful. You look ravishing. And and you, you could come here, young man. No, I mean, okay, Oh, hey. So what are you wearing today? Um, this tie is by Jeffrey Bean, and the suit. Um, I don't know exactly where the suit is from, but it looks good. I know guys aren't usually used to being asked what they're wearing, yeah. but you're wearing it well. Thank you so much. Are you excited for prom? I definitely, definitely. I'm very excited, and this helps a lot getting the suit and be able to do community service and give back. But what did your parents think when you told them that you were going to be part of this? Oh, it is like they have a program like that. Like they never knew stuff like this existed. Um, like my community project, I, w I was with the International YMCA, so I always do community service. So we went and painted uh, a room, a library, and a covenant house for infants. That's really great. Yeah. Well, you deserve it. Happy, have a great graduation. All right, and the next one. There you go. You look beautiful. Thank what you are so you much. wearing? I'm wearing like a 1950s style dress. It's brown. <laughs> it's pretty. I love it. And uh, it was actually interesting because the dress picked me. I didn't pick the dress. Like, I tried on a bunch of dresses. Some were nice, but I was like, eh. And then I put this one on, and I knew. Like, it picked me. You're ready for the problem. Do you have a date? Yes, I do. I see you. A lucky guy, a lucky man. <laughs> yes, he's my best friend. Oh, really? So, have your friends, do you have other friends that applied for this or were part no, of this pro actually. project? Uh, I actually, in my school, Edward Armour High School, I do the morning announcements. So I announced this as one of the college office's announcements. Yeah. And I decided to apply. And I actually don't know if anyone else did, but I hope they listen to my announcement. Yeah, but, where do people get more information about this if they wanted to? Uh, they could get it online or through their schools. Some schools were uh, informed of uh, this great program. All right. Well, thank you. Enjoy your evening. And another lovely lad coming, Shira. Nice to meet you. What are you wearing? Share it with everyone online I'm watching. Wearing a, I'm wearing a black tuxedo from the Lorraine collection. You know, 
something classic, you know, not to be too fa too fancy for the prom, you know. You're balancing it out. You're yeah. doing like the upscale, but it's not casual. I mean, yeah. this is more the more casual tux. Definitely more casual, you know. I don't want to go too flashy. Just something simple. How excited are you for graduation? Oh, I'm very excited. I can't wait to go to college. I'm so hyped to go to it. Where like, are you going? I'm trying to go to Megat Everett's. I want to study sociology. Awesome. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm a little nervous though, I haven't really had enough college experience, but I'm really excited to go. We're well, not supposed to have college experience before you go to college, that's the whole point. <laughs> but I'm sure you're going to do great. Thank you. Alright, congratulations, thank you, so nice to meet you. Oh, he's, they're all so nice, it inspires me, I feel like I should go back to college. You look beautiful, what are you wearing, and what's your name? Zareda Martinez. <laughs> and, and what is this dress? I'm wearing a dress called by Allah. And how did you originally find out about this? Well, I'm in the Greenpoint YMC program, and basically we just did a whole bunch of community service. Um, it's a we helped out a fundraising organization, and yeah, just to let other people be aware of what happened, and you know, just basically get everybody to come and join. Yeah, well, it's fun. Now you, I feel like you guys need to go out now instead of going home. All right, well, thank you so much. You look great. And what are those shoes? I wish someone needs to show those. Look at those shoes. Those are. Some bedazzling. Thank you. Shoes. Do you know what they are? They're beautiful. I don't even know. I'll have to find out later because those are great shoes. Oh, I will be talking to the stylist. Great, thank you. And finally, the last one here. What are you wearing? I'm wearing Morgan and Cole, um, a Jessica McClintock um, bag, and David Bradasan. So, did you guys all work together? Did you know each other from before? I know um, a few of them from my YMCA, yeah. International YMCA, and we volunteered together. Very nice. Well, you guys are doing great work, and you know that's what it's all about. Keep on contributing to your community, and, and enjoy school and work hard. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Sharon. And of course, we have the stylist here today, who made all these wonderful looks all come together. Yes. Uh, can you introduce yourselves for our lovely audience? Hi, my name is Marina, and we're from Danny Black and Dua Farina. And and you guys put what, what went into putting these outfits together today? Um, you know, we asked the, the girls and the guys what they would like to wear and we tried to match their desire as much as possible. And then, you know, it's fun and then we like style them and accessories and shoes. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Isn't, isn't it cool to be part of a project like this where it's not necessarily something that you normally, a, a normal styling gig? Well, I think, uh, you know, everyone has to be able to help someone in some sort of way. And since we're in the fashion world, this is what we do best. So it's definitely uh, something that we love to do. And if we could help and make these girls so happy, then it makes us happy. Yeah. And so for the people, I'm not sure if there's a lot of graduation people watching, but what are the trends we're seeing for glam wear like this for the summer and the spring? Well, definitely uh, there's this 1950s Mad Men feel. Yeah. So a lot of the girls, usually they want something more sexy, more straight. Short and poofy. Yeah, this year they want short, poofy, you know, flirty, floral. Oh, so we're going with the poofy. Yeah, definitely with the I mean, definitely also, uh, you know, the Grecian look is really big, especially the Sex and the Siggy movie with the whole Moroccan idea. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a big look for spring, so either, you know, really kind of short, modern 50s or like this Moroccan, you know, Mideast vibe. And for people who maybe can't spend a lot of money, like what tips do you have in terms of getting that look all together but on a budget? Well, you know, um, definitely like you can, you can get it on a budget, like as long as you have like a nice like silhouette and then you can, you know, you can really accessorize. And you know, right now there are a lot of places where you can go and like get like a very good look for not that much money. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so many stores that you like know. Forever yeah. 21. Yeah. I mean, some of these dresses are very expensive, but some of these dresses are from Forever 21, and I don't think uh, anything, for example, there costs anything more than $75. Yeah. In terms of the shoes, the same concept. You know, we have Danny Black shoes that are, you know, $125, $130, and they look as good as some of the girls are wearing Louboutins that are five, $600. And where can guys get their suits on the cheap? Um, uh, well, we actually, like, downtown, there are a lot of places where you can actually get, yeah. like... New York, yeah. Tuxedo. That's a great place. I mean, under $70, I think you could get, you could get a tuxedo, a tuxedo. there. Very nice. 
Yeah. And of course, I want to remind everyone, it's about attitude. Yeah. yeah. In the end, you could wear whatever you want, how expensive it is, no matter how expensive it is. If you feel good about yourself and you're a good person, then you will look yeah, you will look good. That's what we want to emphasize. Um, what is the website for people to find out more if they want to be part of this project next year? Uh, YMCANYC.org. That's so YMCANYC.org. You find out more about Project Prom yes. and apply. When are, when do people need to apply usually? We start uh, the process probably around January, February. Okay. And start uh, talking about the service and getting them to do uh, the workshops and, you know, and the service. Even if you're not part of Project Prom, it's always important to give back. And, and, and that's a great thing. Yeah, there's 50 adult volunteers that are helping dress this, the, the students and walking them through the looks and of course all the donors. Yep. Alright, very nice. Well, thank you so much for coming here today. Nice to meet you too. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.